Teffel Dude. He is the Teffel Dude. He is the Teffel Dude. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to work with the files. These are the files that the teacher puts in the files area. First, we're going to view the files. And then I'm going to show you how to download the files to your PC and then how to open them in a PDF reader and not in a browser. Obviously, we're going to be downloading these two PDF readers as well. This means we can share and edit them at the same time. Now, here I am as Pablo and I've logged in and I've joined the meeting. Normally when you join a meeting, it looks quite small if you're using the app, so you should really stretch it out. And also click on the show participants. And that lets you see the other members that you're talking to. So first off, we're going to view the files. Simply go to the files area. And you'll see class materials. And usually the PDFs will be in another folder and you simply click on it in order to view it. Once you're in the viewing area, you will have to move your mouse to the bottom to see more options such as next page and how to make the page larger so that you can share it with your friends or look at it yourself. However, you cannot edit it in this format. So what I need you to do is to download the file. Now you can download it once you've opened it by simply clicking these three dots and clicking download. And you can see it's downloaded. But you can also download them by simply clicking on this button and clicking download. Or additionally, click on these three dots and click download. Once you've downloaded them, you need to go to your downloads folder in order to find them. That's normally where they will be. As you can see, I've downloaded it three times. Now, if you don't have a PDF reader, what will happen is as you open it, you will be opening it with the Microsoft Edge browser. And while the Microsoft Edge browser is quite good and you can use some editing tools, you can actually draw on this and you can highlight, but that's about all you can do. It's much better if you open it in a PDF reader where you can actually save it and edit it even more, particularly as I tend to make these PDFs very interactive. So let's close this off. Now we're going to open this with a PDF reader and the two I've chosen are either Adobe DC or Foxy. And that's because I sometimes embed audio files inside the PDF so that you can play them on your iPad or you can play them on your computer directly and you don't have to look for the audio file. Now you can download this Adobe reader, which is the most popular one for free. And later I'll show you how to write on it. But I much prefer this Foxit Reader, which is also free. And you can check out the differences when I show you opening the PDFs in both of them. So choose either one and install it. So now I'm going to open the PDF file. So here's the PDF file opened in the reader. And I'll also open it later in the Foxit reader. Once you have this reader open, this little icon here helps you to open and close this area because this is how you can comment on this document. So let's move to a page here where I have some audio and where you can write. Simply click on comments. Once the comments have come out, click this arrow to make them disappear. Now you can click on this button and draw to your heart's content. 
The only text box I use is this text tool here so that you can write whatever you want and you can change the color as well. Now you'll notice that when I click the hand tool, I should be able to move the page up and down, but sometimes it will select um, images or something like this. And sometimes then you can't move the page again, or it gets difficult to do that. What you need to do is go to the preference area and click where it says make hand tool select images. You want to untick that and make sure you click OK. So now my hand, yes, it can still select these, but it won't select any other images. So I can move the page up and down. Also, when you want to play audio that I've embedded, you have to click accept options, trust this document always. And then you'll see when I click, it plays the audio. However, this black area still remains until you close out uh, the document. This does not happen with the Foxit reader because that's where I embedded the audio from. Now, the reason I really want you to have the PDF is because in the following pages, I sometimes make it interactive. And you'll see here, in order to make life easier for the students, I decided to have these words prepared so that they're more interactive. And so I can show the students the answers and they can do this themselves as well on their document once they've downloaded it. Now I've also done it with these texts here. If you click on the hand tool and then it becomes an arrow, that means it's movable. Refer to, consist of. And you can see I've done this to make life easier for the teacher and the student to do the work together online. Here you can also write some answers using the text tool, or you can simply highlight the word that it's meant to be. The other reader I'm interested in, or that I'd like you to use, is this Foxit reader, because here too, you can play the audio, And when you stop the audio, you can see what's underneath. You can also highlight, as you can see here, you can write with the tools. So if you go to the comments, you have the highlighter tool here and you have a pen here. So, and then go back to the hand tool. And also with this, I made it so that we could move these objects. Now that Pablo has a window, he can also share this document so that you can edit it together. So here, Pablo can simply share this document. And notice that a red ring goes around this document. So that I as the teacher can only see that document. And we'll go back to Pablo and he can stop sharing by clicking this icon here. But you can see that on my how to share your screen video. So check that one out. So that's all for today. And I do hope that you choose either the Foxit Reader or the Adobe Reader. Remember, opening these documents with a reader is very important and later, you can watch one of my videos where I show you how I actually prepared this page and how I make these interactive objects. So see you on the next video.